Louise Marcus, the Liberal candidate for Macquarie. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. There are just 20 days until the people of Macquarie have an option to choose who will govern them. I believe this election offers a choice that is significant for the generation to come. It's a choice between a stable, unified team that can offer a strong government or a disunified, dysfunctional team being Labor. The coalition does offer real change. We aren't about just talking and what we're committing, committing to in this election, we will do. There are only, there's only one way that Australians can be sure to leave the chaos, the division and the failures of this current government. For three years now I've had the privilege, it's an absolute honour, to represent the people of Macquarie. And what people tell me is that they want a change, they want stability, they want certainty. For the last three years I've raised my voice in as strong as way, as way possible in the parliament. And I've fought for a number of issues the significance and the importance of aged care. We're an ageing population, particularly in the Blue Mountains. It's estimated that by 2050, uh, there'll be a growth of 300% in Alzheimer's, for example. It's significant, it's important to this area. Homelessness, the changes to the private health insurance rebate has put enormous pressure on families. The government's closure of the chronic dental scheme is one, one scheme that I've fought for in Parliament. I have experienced a and develop the developing policy and fighting for what matters, not just to people in this electorate, but also to the nation. Within the past week, the coalition announced our policy for mobile black spot funding. And this is significant for the people of Macquarie. We have isolated communities uh, that, uh, that uh, live and reside in some of the most fire prone areas of the globe. It's important that we lift the bar and provide this vital service. For the past three years I've been speaking with families and small business owners and also community and emergency services about this particular issue. People are concerned about the level of debt and the mismanagement by this government of the budget. I'd like to run through a few things that we have planned that we think are important as a coalition for Australia, for all Australians. We will build a stronger, more diverse economy with lower taxes and less waste. We will get the budget back under control. It's estimated that the interest annually will cost Australian taxpayers $10 billion. This is money that will affect the future of our children, my children, your children, our grandchildren. By getting the budget back under control, paying the debt and strengthening our finances, we can protect the economy from further shocks and we can ensure that our children aren't left to pay a soaring debt legacy. We will help families get ahead by freeing them from the carbon tax. The carbon tax has put enormous pressure on household and business energy bills significantly. In fact, there are a number of manufacturers in this electorate that have told me that if carbon tax continues to rise, they'll have to consider moving offshore. We will help small business grow by reducing business costs. We'll make it easier for small business to employ more people by cutting $1 billion worth of red tape. We will conduct a root and branch review of competition laws and, by, and we will not proceed with Labor's $1.8 billion hit on fringe benefits tax. This will not just affect small business. I've had small business people at their doorsteps tell me that this will have an impact on them. There's a local uh, NGO called Nova Employment. They've estimated it will affect them by $400,000 annually. This is an organisation that is providing employment to young people with a disability. They estimate it will prevent them or enable or remove the possibility of them finding employment for 82 young people with a disability. I have to say those young people are important to me and they ought to be important to all of us here. We will build a five pillar, a five pillar economy. We will generate one million new jobs over the next five years and two million new jobs within 10 years. You might have seen or you might be aware that in PFO, the, the uh, pre-election financial outlook, it was estimated that unemployment will rise by around 800,000 people over the coming year. 
That's 800,000 people with families, with responsibilities, with bills, with children that they have to support. We will build more infrastructure and get things moving. We will deliver better health and education service with local communities in charge and we will build a 15,000 strong green army to clean up the environment. The reason that I'm standing for Parliament and have stood for Parliament over these years is that I saw under Labor as a social worker. Every time Labor got in, I saw people coming through my door that should never walk through my door. And every time Liberal got in, even the most disadvantaged had opportunities. That's why I'm standing for the coalition. And I have to say that I will fight for not just my community, but every individual that lives within it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Louise.